Hello, lovely people of the world. Today, I'm going to show you this really, really cute starburst granny square that I used to make my winter burst cowl. Um, it can be found on my website. I'll have the link in the description box below. Um, this starburst differs from the traditional starburst granny square um, in the second round. So if you're looking at this motif here and this green round here, um, instead of working double crochets, you're gonna be working a double crochet two together or a two double crochet cluster stitch. It's the same thing, people just call it different stuff. Um, this creates more of like a petal kind of look to it in that round and it just gives it a little extra something. Um, today I'm gonna be using a bulky weight hand dyed yarn from Hello Stella Fibers look at that color this is the color first class um i'm going to be using first class lichen which is this lime green and then ply okay i also have my six millimeter hook okay or size j and i'm going to assume that you know all of your basic stitches so that we can just go ahead and get on with it let's get started get this cowl out of the way here and I'm gonna grab my first color hmm which one should I use first let's start with ply so we're gonna start with a slip knot however you do yours I think we all do them differently okay on your hook and we are going to chain four one two three four and then we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook to create a little center ring. And we're going to be working our stitches into the center of this ring, okay? Making sure that we hold our tail down and that we work over that tail as we go so that we don't have to sew it in later. So let's start with a chain two, okay? And that's gonna count as your first double crochet. And then we're going to work 11 double crochets into the center ring for a total of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you run out of room, just pull your stitches back a little bit, okay? You're not going to ruin them or anything like that. Eleven. So let's double check that we have twelve total. So our chain two counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, perfect. Move my basket of yarn closer. Okay, so now we're going to join our round by slip stitching into the top of our first double crochet here, not into the chain two, okay? Into the top of that first real double crochet stitch. And that creates a nice tight join. You can pull your tail, cinch that closed a little bit so you have a nice perfect circle, okay? We're gonna cut our yarn. And now to tie in this end so that I don't have to sew it later because I hate sewing, I'm going to weave this tail into the back loops of my stitches here. So I'm just gonna insert into the back loop, pull it through, and I do about four or five. I'm gonna do four for the tutorial. Okay, flip your circle over, and then now these loops become your front loops just back the way we came, okay? Into that front loop only, okay? Make sure that you have your stitches right side facing up here, and we're gonna start our second round. So for this round, I think I'll do that super fun bright pink color. It was called First Class. So I'll grab my, oh, grab my tail here. And we're going to insert our hook in between any of the double crochet stitches, okay? So I'm going to insert mine here, drape your yarn over the hook, okay? And pull through, and then yarn over both of these, okay? Yarn over two of them, and pull it through. 
So that counts as your join and a chain one all in one. You're gonna drop your tail and then we're gonna work over this tail holding it against the back of our stitches here. Chain an extra one and this is your first double crochet. Okay, so this chain two counts as your first double crochet. And then we're just gonna work a regular double crochet into that same space and chain one. So this first set here, it will end up looking like the rest of your double crochet two together, but for the time being, it's a little bit different. Okay, so continuing to work over the tail, now we're gonna start our real double crochet two together, okay? We're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And then we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three, and chain one. Okay, so that's how you double crochet two together, or if some people like to call it a two double crochet cluster. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Okay, in between every double crochet stitch from the previous round. Double crochet two together, chain one. Double crochet two together, chain one. And if you need to pause the video to get caught up, feel free to do so. There's no shame in that game. We all have to learn somehow. By the end of this round, you're still going to have 12 of these stitches, okay? Or 12 double crochet two together to be more specific. And we're working over this tail in the back. Make sure you get it in behind all of the stitches. Okay, when you come all the way around, you'll notice if you're a tight crocheter like me that it's curling up on you. Don't worry about that. It'll straighten out once we get our next round on it, okay? So we are going to join this round now by slip stitching in between these two clusters over here, okay? We're not going into the top of this stitch. We're going to slip stitch in that chain one space, just like so, and then tie off your yarn. Just like in the previous round, I'm going to insert my hook into the back loops and weave that tail in to the top of four or five stitches here. Flip your circle over and go back the way you came. Okay, now let's put our work down for a minute. Let's check out what we've done. So we worked over this one, this tail, so we can cut that off. We worked over it with our initial 12 and we worked over the pink tail and we weaved that one into the top of our stitches. So we can just cut all of those off and not do any sewing. Love that, right? Okay, for my next round, for the third round, we are going to use this color lichen, which is a lime green or a chartreuse, it's very lovely. And we're going to insert it into any of these chain one spaces, okay? So I choose here, doesn't matter where. Place your yarn over your hook, pull through, and we're gonna yarn over both of those tails and join just like so. Drop your tail and chain one, okay? So that's your first chain two, and it counts as your first double crochet. And we are gonna work two more double crochets into this chain one space. And all the way around, making sure we work over our tail in the back here, we're going to put three double crochets into every chain one space. 
So nice and easy. Okay. Again, we're not doing any increases or anything like that. So you're going to have 12 of these three double crochet shells all the way around. Or sorry, 12. <laughs> 12 of the three double crochet shells. still battling head colds over here. If I clear my throat a few times, I apologize. These kindergarten germs, they just, they're not messing around. I've never been more sick in all my life. <laughs> I've got a five-year-old and every time he brings home something, I bring it home. I get it too. It's good times. I feel like you know, I'm healthy one week, sick the next. It never fails. Every time I need to do a tutorial, <laughs> I've got a raspy voice. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Okay, so I have worked three double crochets into every chain one space all the way around my circle. Now I'm going to join my round and I'm going to do so by slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet here, not into that chain two, okay? Again, I like to do it this way because it creates a nice tight join, okay? Instead of having those chain threes and little gapy open spaces. Not a big fan of that look, so. Okay, almost there. So again, we're going to weave this tail into the back loops of the next four or five stitches here. Flip it over and go back the way you came. And then I did that with this pink tail and I've now worked over it. So it's lovely and secure and not going anywhere so I'm gonna snip it off okay so we have one flat circle now it's time to turn it into a square to do so I'm going to bring ply back into the game plea ply I'm not even sure how we pronounce it but oh well so I'm going to insert my hook into the space between our three double crochets okay just like so Drape the yarn over the hook and pull it through. Yarn over both of those, just like we've done the beginning of every round. Drop my tail in the back and I'm just gonna work over the tail for this, this one portion, okay? Now I'm gonna chain one counts as our, oh, chain two, sorry, counts as our first treble. So I'm gonna yarn over twice and I'm going to work two more trebles into this same space. We're gonna be creating our first corner, okay? So two trebles, you wrap your yarn twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? Chain two for our corner, and then we're gonna work three more trebles into this same space, okay? It'll be tight, but get them in. It'll look really nice in the end. So into our next space over here between our, our crochet shells, that's what we call a group of double crochets together, we're going to work three more double crochets. So one, two, three, just like so. Okay, we're working the top edge of our square here. We're gonna work 
three more double crochets into that next space. Just like that. And now we're gonna work another corner. So we're gonna do three trebles, chain two, three trebles, all into the same space. Okay, so that's the first half of the corner. I'm gonna work three more trebles into that same space. Okay, we're gonna work on our second side of the square here. So we're gonna put three double crochets into this next space. And three more into the next space over here. And then into the next space, we're gonna do our third corner. So we're gonna do three trebles, chain two, three trebles. Oh my, what happened there? Okay, on our third side here, we're going to work three double crochets and three double crochets. Just like all the other ones. Okay, and into this next one here. Uh oh, my yarn's starting to get knotted up. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to work my fourth corner. So I'm going to do three trebles, chain two, three trebles. Okay, we're going to complete our fourth side of the square here, we're putting three double crochets in this space and three double crochets in this space. <laughs> Can you guys hear my wrist crunching every time I move it? I'm getting old and rickety. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. Okay. So we're gonna join our fourth round here by slip stitching into the top of the first treble, not into that chain three, okay? So into this one right here, okay? And there you have it. Tie off your yarn. You have a lovely starburst square. Now, I'm going to cut off this green tail because we don't need it. And I'm gonna sew in my end here. So what I do is I flip it over and I'm gonna work into these two stitches right, right here, okay? I'm gonna bring my tail down the back of this one through here. And I'm going to work my tail down this way towards this one here. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this one and thread it onto my hook if I can get it on. It's falling apart on me here. There we go. So I've got both tails on my hook and I'm just going to sew them back and forth a couple times into the back of these stitches.
three times should do it. Okay. And then you just cut your yarn. So there you have it. One complete Starburst Granny Square. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Take care, guys.